Hello or welcome back to Skyrim. I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to install and use FNIS, which is a animation generation tool. If you're using Nemesis, you probably don't want to use this because Nemesis already does what this does and then some. It's more superior th than this, but some people like to use FNIS because it has a few features that Nemesis doesn't, like being able to use animations with creatures. So Basically, I'm going to be using MO2 when we install this, and here we go. Let's jump into this showcase. So here we are at our Mod Organizer 2 menu. As you can see, I have FNIS installed right here. You just install it like a normal mod, file, install mod, and then click to install the zip. And then once it is installed, you want to click on it and go right click on it and then go to open and explore, right? Then click over to the folder called tools and then generate FNIS for users. You want to click on that. Now copy this file path and then go back into your ML2. Now you want to scroll up and you want to select whichever button is the one that says configure executables. So once this is open, you want to go to add executable and then select add executable from file. So once that happens, your file explorer opens up, you want to paste in the file path that we just copied, and then you want to click this application right here, generate FNIS for users. After that is clicked, uh, this one has a one right here because I already have one installed, but I'm just going to name this tutorial because this is a tutorial. And then you want to um, go down to this line right here where it says start in. You want to click these three dots and then you pretty much want to go the same path uh, that you had that has the application in it, which is this folder right here. Ge generate FNIS for users. Once you're here, you just select folder and then it'll be in here. Now hit OK. And there you go. Now FNIS is installed. Now, in order to use FNIS, come down to the application right here, and then you want to hit run. Now wait for it to open up. Now once it's opened up, here's the animation generation tool. Down here is a list of patches. So if you use certain mods, you might need to check these boxes. I have TK Dodge mods, so I had to keep this box checked. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong about this, but I think you need the gender specific animations and the skeletal arm fix no matter what mods you use because if you try to use FNIS and you don't have this check, your arm might be messed up. Try try and try and running it without these two and if if you have any problems then try activating it. But anyway, in order to generate your animations from animation mods, you just install them and then hit update FNIS behavior. So once you do that, it's going to scan all of those animation mods that you had. Like there you see bathing in Skyrim, GS poses, things like that. And it will add them to your game. And you'll know when it's finished because it'll tell you how many animations were added. There you go, 3,521 animations were added for 13 mods successfully. All right, once that's done, you just hit exit. And there you go, that's it. That's how you use FNIS. So if I was like to install an animation mod, I would install it and then I would open that tool and then I would, you know, just hit uh, update FNIS behavior. And then once I jump in the game, those animations should work. And if I want to uninstall something, you simply uninstall the mod, like your animation mod, and then you open this tool again, and then you have to update it again. All right. So keep that in mind as well. When you add animations, generate the tool. And then when you remove animations, also generate the tool again. So that was FNIS. And I'm going to put the mod download link in the description below if you have any questions or comments just leave them on the comment section below leave a like 
if you enjoyed this video if it helped you or if you want to simply support me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all next time take care